This might be my favorite video I've ever done. Today, I'm gonna go through a thousand rounds with you on a brand new pistol from Atlas Gunworks. Let's check this thing out. All right, now this is the brand new Atlas EOS. And when I tell you this is a beautiful pistol, obviously it's gorgeous, all of the Atlas guns are gorgeous, but when I shoot this thing, let me just say, I'm super excited to run this thousand rounds through today. So I will admit this won't be the first rounds I put through it. The other day I came out, I put about uh, 30 rounds. I had two mags that I had loaded up and one of them was partial. So maybe 25, 30 rounds I put through this gun and I was blown away with the way it shot. But today we're gonna really put it through its paces. So the first thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of oil on this just to make sure and it's already slightly lubed up, but I wanna make sure that we have this properly lubed um, with some Radco. Got a little Radco CLP here. We've got all of our mags, or all of my mags loaded up. Most of my mags loaded up. This is 261 rounds currently loaded up of G9 ammunition. Uh, thank you G9 for being a huge supporter and getting us ammo to shoot this, this with. Um, today, I'm doing a special video because not just a thousand rounds of mag dump. I actually asked you guys what you wanted to see as far as drills and skills that you want tested. And you sent me like 30 different drills, 40 different drills and comments and DMs. Um, and I'm gonna run those until we burn all thousand rounds. Okay, so I have some printed off. I have some different drills set up already. And we're just gonna shoot this ammo and actually get something out of it. Plus, really put the gun through its paces. Now, the last couple days I've been working on uh, digging ditches and wiring and all sorts of stuff. So my forearms are already burning, but I am truly excited to run this gun. Now, let's just talk about the gun itself real quick. A couple aspects about this. First, it's a four and a quarter inch. It's like a commander size steel frame 2011. So the flush fit mags are 15 rounds. You can see that it sits in there beautifully, but it will also take your 20s, sticks out a little bit more, and also my big sticks for open division. That is a 29 round mag, and we're gonna be running all of these. I'm bringing out the bigger ones just so that I'm not having to stuff 15 round mags over and over and over again. Going on from there, the grip itself is an aluminum grip, the Atlas pattern on here, which is not too grippy, but it actually holds really well. All of the safeties are blended as ambidextrous safety, and the best part about this gun is the slide ports. The, the barrel and slide is ported, so it keeps this thing shooting super flat. It is the only carry gun that bears Atlas's perfect return to zero trademark. So today we're going to be running this thing a whole lot. It does have backup sights, um, which do work. They are visible through that. So it's pretty freaking cool. Right now it is about a three pound, three and a half pound trigger, something like that. Um, but a beautiful, you know, 2011 trigger break. And I'm just excited to shoot. So enough talking. Um, I'm going to set up these drills. We're going to go through them one by one. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you guys just a little comparison here. Um, in sizes. So here's a couple of my other atlases. We have the Athena, which is a 4.6 inch barrel. Um, this is what I run for limited optics or practical vision in um, PCSL. And you can see here, it is just slightly longer. Okay, just a little bit longer and a little bit longer and bigger on the grip. This is running the Alpha Grips, which has the palm swells. Um, and this is what I would usually run. Now, compared to the Erebus, uh, we're running a 4.6 inch barrel on the Erebus plus the compensator. So you can see it's quite a bit longer, much bigger profile, actually quite a bit heavier too with that extra weight on the end. Um, but I think the performance is going to be pretty similar. We're gonna do a, maybe some comparisons on this stuff later on, but we're gonna shoot this one full thousand rounds through this gun running drills that you guys sent me. So let's stop talking and get after it. All right, so we got to do a quick zero on this just to make sure that our zero is where it needs to be. I got a target up at uh, 15 yards right now. Most of the time I will zero at 20 to 25 yards, but just doing a handheld zero real quick to make sure this thing is good to go. We're just gonna do it 15. So let's go ahead and check where this thing's at. All right, shot five rounds. And just those first five rounds feels so freaking good. Um, 
Looks like we got a little bit of the left here. I'm all over the place. Those are my first five rounds today. Uh, I'm gonna pull this just a little bit to the right. I've, or I felt that one that I shot to the right. I'm gonna pull the dot a little bit over to the right. And let's go check another five. Gosh, this gun shoots great though. That one was dead center of the paster. Yeah, we just shot the hell out of the paster, so I think we're good. Yeah. Um, I got four more rounds left in here. Those, all four rounds, James, can you show the target real quick, the steel? All four of the rounds are in a, a group that's two and a half inches around. Not a bad way to start the day. Let's grab some mags. Now, the first drill that I had requested was two four, or a two, two, four, two, two. And that's with three targets. Um, I'm gonna grab a couple of mags here. We're gonna do three targets. Two rounds, two rounds, four rounds, two rounds, two rounds is the sequence of fire. So let's go ahead and run that drill. Now I've run this drill, I think one time with rifle before, I've never run it with pistol. Um, we got three targets at seven yards, one yard apart. Let's go ahead and give it a couple of tries. Stand by. All right, we've got some sloppy hits here. I forgot to turn my dot down for the zeroing, but we've got two Charlies here, a Charlie and a Delta here, and three Charlies there. Let's go ahead and run it again, because why not? But this time I'm gonna run it opposite, so I'm gonna start on the right target. Stand by. Actually, yeah, we're getting enough rounds. Stand by. Ah, oh, didn't have enough rounds. We were down one round. That was a 349. Um, since we ran out, let's go ahead and run it one more time. Uh, we've got uh, that one actually only had one, two Charlies, three Charlies looks like. Let's go ahead and run this again. Stand by. That is a fun, fun drill. Again, it's a higher round count, really fast burn down drill. That was a 343 for 12 rounds. Clean target there. Had a cup, like one or two Charlies here. And I threw a Delta here and a Charlie here. So um, not bad, but definitely a good way to start. So thank you to whoever was that recommended that drill. Let's go ahead and see what the next one is. All right, so like I said, I've got a bunch of drills that I printed off here. We have the Ergo Challenge, which is my drill. Um, I think Kevin Yantosh recommended that one. This is one that I've never seen before. This is Red Nine International. Their Circles drill. Um, we've got the Manzano 7714 drill. We've got Dot Torture. We got a lot of different drills in here. Um, IDPA classifier, three sevens, that's always a winner. So um, also got Bear Solutions too. So a bunch of different drills. We're gonna go ahead and throw some of these up and start running them as quickly as we can. All right, and this is the Red Nine International um, dots or circles. So I'm gonna shoot center, gray, center, white, center, gray, center, white, center, gray, center, white, center, gray, center, white. That's the plan. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and we'll do it from seven yards. It says between three to seven, I think, but let's go ahead and push up to the seven. Using my buddy uh, Hepner's mag, with this corgi on there, <laughs> and a little tie-dye corgi action. All right. So center gray, center white, center gray, center white, center gray, center white, center gray, center white. Let's see what we can make happen. Stand by. All right, definitely all over the place there. That was 812. Um, I think I need to come back to the center because that was 14 rounds, it's supposed to be 15. Looks like I'm pulling some shots low, push one up high here, just kind of all over. So let's dial in a little accuracy. I think I need to just work the accuracy a little bit um, before we dive into any more precision drills. I'm gonna use that top circle for some precision shots.
All right, dialing in a little bit. Um, we'll go ahead and run this drill again on the left target. We'll do same thing. <laughs> and uh, this time we'll start with white though. We'll do center white, center gray, standby. All right, that was 15 rounds, 945. Much cleaner run that time. I pulled two out. So I pulled this one here up into here and I pulled this one just a little bit outside the circle. A lot cleaner that time, but definitely not a clean run. I'm not going for clean runs necessarily. Obviously I'd like to get a clean run, but this is about burning through this ammo. So we're gonna do what we gotta do. Um, I need two mags. We're gonna run the Ergo Challenge which is a 10 round drill with a reload. I got my little 15 rounder mag here um, and there's a few in this one. So we're gonna shoot Ergo Challenge, which is four rounds in the middle, reload two in each of the bigs in each of the squares and then one in each of the circles. Stand by. All right, so that was a clean run of the Ergo Challenge, a 7.13, so pretty solid time, and a pretty decent reload. I had a bunch of requests for one reload ones. Um, let's just go ahead and run that one, one, one more time. Might as well, we got a couple more rounds in here I can do. All right, one more time on the Ergo, stand by. Another clean run, little hiccup on the reload, but a 7.16 on that one. So back-to-back -back clean runs on the Ergo Challenge. That makes me happy, I like that. I'm definitely getting the hang of this. This thing shoots really well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but as I'm shooting this, the dot comes right back. That's why I sped up my splits on that second one. It's coming right back to where it left from. I mean, Jesus, dude, those are stacking into that little three inch square. Uh, we got. Put two more rounds in here. Headshots. Yes, sir. All right, let's go top off some mags. All right, next up, we're gonna do the Manzano 7714 drill. With this one, we put, uh, I think it's something like this right here. We put the papers together here. And basically what this is, is you're gonna do seven yards, um, I think it's 14 rounds, so we do, yeah, five rounds, five rounds, reload, two and two. So it's a 14 round drill from seven yards. I don't know what the, oh, it's gotta be completed in less than seven seconds. Um, first mag, nine rounds plus one in the chamber. Second mag is with at least four rounds. So let's go ahead and run this. And I'll have to drop a couple rounds out of this first mag which won't be a problem. So this is a 20 round mag, that means I need to drop 10 rounds. Let's go ahead and burn 10 rounds real quick. We'll do a billy. Let's do a bill drill real quick. 10 rounds, oh a 10 round billy? Um, <laughs> that could be fun. Stand by. That was a clean 10 round billy in 274. Six rounds was a 203, so I gotta work on that a little bit. My first shot, that 115, a little slow on that. All right, now we have uh, 10 rounds in this mag. It should lock back. We got a fresh mag ready to go. Five, five, reload, two and two in the head box up there, seven yards. Stand by. All right, I pulled one load. That was a 634. Um, let's walk up here and check it. We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five in. One, two, one, two. And I actually pulled my first shot low on this one and a 634. Let's just run that again because why not? All right, so I still have just one round out. Now I'm gonna try to do this. Five, five, reload, two and two. Stand by.
pulled one out of the head again. So we've got uh, clean run here, clean run here, pulled one low for a 665. I even took a little bit extra time for that one. Ah, we got some work to do. All right, now I've got a, a special treat for you guys. <laughs> this one cracked me up. I saw this one, I don't know, a couple years ago when I was doing the um, the um, One Take Wednesdays. So this is the Pearl Challenge. It used to be called the Shaft Challenge, and I guess they changed the name. But um, it's three meters, two mags, four rounds in each mag. So I'm gonna have to shift some rounds around here. A four. But as you can see, you gotta put two in each of the circles, three in this long rectangle, and then one right there in the triangle. So I don't remember who it was that recommended this drill on the post, but uh, thank you for reminding me about this. It's always a good one to, to run. All right, so we're at three meters here. Let's go ahead and run. We got four rounds in this one and a mag here. Stand by. Ah, I missed the top of it, the little rocket ship up there. Now, the real question is, coming down to strategy, is it better to shoot your way from the top down, or should you start here and work your way up? Um, so I just worked from the bottom up, and we're just gonna try that one more time, see how that goes, uh, and then we'll maybe we'll work it from the top down too. All right, so we're gonna run this again from the bottom up. Stand by. All right, do we have a line burner there? That was a 621. Uh, that mag, this, this one mag just seems to get hung up a little bit. That one missed. That one's a line burner. Let's go reload. Oh no, we have a big stick. All right, we got a big stick, so we can go do a little bit more uh, before we have to top this off. Uh, I got three more rounds on this. Let me back up a little bit here. I wanna see if I can double tap with this pistol, I think I can do it. Double tap that popper before it hits the ground. Maybe even triple. Let's see if we can do a triple tap. Stand by. Ah! I could have done it, but I missed the second two shots. Let's try, oh, nope. There it is. Let's try it. Stand by. Three hits on. That was a 183. It took me a second to get stabilized there, but that was three hits on that popper. Now, I did paint this this morning. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. One, two, three hits before it hit the ground. I wonder if we can double tap a plate on the plate rack. That's how quickly this thing comes back. Those were um, 16 splits. Stand by, let's do the plate rack. Well, a little rough there. Three hits again on the popper. <laughs> That's six. Six hits on that popper with two presentations. All right, now we need more mags. So far, we're doing pretty good. We're getting through. I think we have two mags left of that first batch. Um, and let's see what the next drill is gonna be. All right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna run dot torture real quick. This is always a winner. I actually learned a lot when I started out shooting running dot torture. So it's a 50 round drill apparently. So we're gonna step back here to seven because seven yards on two inch circles is always a good time. Um, and we're gonna do two doubles on target one. I think it's two doubles. I guess it would help if I load it up. All right, stand by. All right, that was a 235, stand by. Two thirty-three. was it two or three? Um, two pairs. Then we're gonna do 
one shot, strong hand only on target number three. Or sorry, target number two. I dropped one round in that. That was my first shot I pulled low. Stand by. Good hit, 254. Good hit, 217. Oh, yoink that one, 226. One more. Good hit, 197. All right, then we have, I believe it's two and two. Let's just double check that real quick. One and one. So one on three, one on four. We're down two rounds so far. One on three, one on four. Stand by. Two twelve. Man, this gun is just a dream. I don't know. Are you picking up how that thing recoils? Cause it's freaking awesome. Let's see here. One on three, one on four. Okay, pulled another one low on the first shot. One ninety nine. Three, I think we do this one more time. Ah, I pulled one high. So we have, I think, five shots out now. Six shots. One, two, three, four, five, six shots out currently. Okay, that one's pretty rough. All right, three pairs, strong hand only. Okay, three pairs, strong hand only. Stand by. Okay, two good hits. That first shot took forever. That was a 330. Stand by. Oh, pulled the second one. First shot was good. That was a 369. All right, pulled my first one on there. So that's gonna be two more shots out. Puts us at a total of eight rounds out. All right, now this last one, or this next one is gonna be draw two on six, two on seven times four. Two on six, two on seven times four. Stand by. Good hits, that was a 337, let's do it again. Three twelve. I'm telling you guys, this thing freaking runs. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Let's do it again, two on six, two on seven. Pulled my first shot on the second sequence. So we're down, what is that, nine now? 306, I think we got one more string of this, stand by. Stacked them in the same holes. 296. All right, now we're gonna start, well, now we're gonna go get some more ammo. One more shot, ooh, headshot. Let's go reload. Now, when I get ammo, I get it in bulk. So G9 sends me, or this is a, a bag of 500 rounds, which is great. The problem is, is this right here isn't ideal to carry with you in your truck because the plastic can break. Um, so. Running in apparel, I've got one of these years ago. A student of mine gave it to me. Um, he ordered two of them and gave me one. These bags are like a heavy duty canvas and it's a cool company. I actually broke the zip zipper on my original one and they sent me replacements. And so one of these little bags will take 500 rounds all at once. And I'm not sponsored by them. I just like the product. It's a cool company, good people. At least it seems to be. Great customer service. And that's 500 rounds that zips up nicely and has leather, car leather carrying handle. Um, you can get them with all different patches. So this one's actually a 556 five, bag, um, but you can get them with 300 blackout. You can get them with American flag patch. You can get them with nine millimeter. Obviously we're running nine mil in there currently. And now we got to load up all these mags again.
So I know we're shooting a bunch of drills right now, but the shootability of this pistol is honestly on par or maybe even better than that Erebus. The Erebus I love. I absolutely, it's, it's my favorite shooting pistol. But this little EOS um, with the, it's a tighter spring. So it's a shorter spring, a little bit more tightly wound. So as you can see here, like it's a little harder to push back. It's probably a, I don't know what weight the spring is, but it feels maybe like 14 pound, 13 pounds, something like that versus my Erebus, which is super lightweight, okay? The compensator on the Erebus obviously keeps it down, but the ports on this, because of the way that this is sprung and then the ports are pushing the gas up, this is snapping right back down to the target and it just feels freaking good. Um, another thing to just mention, this gun fits right into my priority one holster. My Erebus fits right into my Priority One holster. And the way that I designed this with Priority One was to make it to where if you're running and this is rotating out, it's not gonna come out. If you need to pull straight out, it's gonna pull out like butter. Um, it gives a little bit of retention. Obviously, it's not like a full-blown active retention, but most of the time when we're running, we see this thing start to rotate out and that's where pistols fall out. That's why we designed it this specific way. So the same thing works with the EOS, even though it's a little short in the holster, it still fits in there just fine. And that makes me happy. All right, so we're finishing up the last three little targets there. The first one's gonna be starting from a ready position. I'm actually gonna start from the holster, transfer my left hand, and it's a, a pair times three on the number eight. Support side only, stand by. Whoop. All right, missed one, so that puts us at 10. Stand by. <laughs> missed two, that puts us at 12. Ooh, it's been a while since I've worked support side. I guess I need to work some more on this for sure. There we go, two in on that one. And it's 620. So I think that was it, or do we need to do four? Three pairs. All right, so we're at 12 out. Now we've got a one reload one on that next one for the nine and 10. And that is how many reps? One reload one for three reps. Pulled one down, so that's gonna make it 13 out. <sighs> ah, this Florida sand is great. <sighs> I need to put down a little blanket or something to do these reloads. Two more. <sighs> Stand by. There we go, two clean hits. And one more. Stand by. Okay, that was one more round pulled out, so that puts us at 14 out total. 339 for the one reload one on this two inch circle. <sighs> Dot torture, guys, is a tough drill. It's a really good one. Like I said, there's a lot of fundamentals. Um, most people will run this drill from like three to five yards, pushing it back to seven, even 10 yards, really gonna hone in your accuracy. Uh, and as evidenced by the fact that I had 13 out, having quite a few out over the course of this drill, uh, evidence is the, the difficulty of it. Now, is it doable? Absolutely is doable. I've run it clean before, um, but it is a challenge and that's the whole point of it. It's called dot torture for a reason. It's not supposed to be a fun one. It's supposed to really hammer your fundamentals. So let's go ahead and try some more support hand only. That is pretty solid. Good headshots on that. Um, took a little bit of work getting that timing down, getting comfortable with that again. Oh yeah. Not bad. Put some, go to the second head over here.
I'm a lot better with my strong hand than I am support hand, obviously, and most people are. All right, let's change up the drill real quick. We have a couple other ones that we can run. So the next one we'll run, we've run 22422 Ergo Challenge, Red 9, 7714. Haven't run tier one, three sevens yet. I'll run that when I get um, my concealed belt on. We can run build drill. We haven't run a build drill yet. Um, we did run the, the three or the 10 round billy, but let's go ahead and run a build drill because this target is clean at the moment. Um, and we're at seven here. Let's go ahead and run a build drill on this. See how quick we can lay down the time here. Stand by. All right, that was a 190 build drill, 108 first shot, and we pulled one shot high, one shot right. So let's go ahead and run that again. Since we're running billies, might as well. See if we can clean that up a little bit. Gotta get my hand speed moving. Stand by. Uh, went up high again. That was a 181. First shot, 99. 18, 15, 16, 18, 15 splits on that. I pushed two shots up high that time. Let's do one more, stand by. Got real sloppy with that one, trying to push the hand speed out of the holster. 91 first shot. So I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and just run some first shot drills and see how quickly we can get out of the holster. That was an 85. Stand by. That one felt faster. That was a 77. Trying to find the full mag. There we go. Stay by. A little bit low on that one. Also 77. 86. Stand by. 80. All right, we're gonna paste up this target and run another billy after pushing a little hand speed on that. All right, now we got that pasted up. Let's see if we can push a faster billy here. Stand by. One sixty-one, but sloppy. We got uh, one, two, three, four, five out. Not happy with that. So this is where, when I do my own training, a lot of times I'll bounce between an execution run and then exploration. So we've been running a lot of exploration here, really pushing to see how fast can we get it? Are we okay with getting a couple of misses? That was a seven, eight first shot. So I cut two tenths of a second off my first shot, um, ran it in 161. So let's go ahead and dial it back to an execution run. Make sure we get our hits on this one um, as quickly as I can confidently, stand by. So clean run that time, 201. Um, 114 my first shot, took a little bit of time to over confirm that. Not thrilled with that, but we did it clean. So let's go ahead and run it one more time. Stand by. Another clean run, 186. That one's a little bit better. One second flat for my first shot. That one felt uh, much more in my comfort zone as far as I get, everything's coming together. Everything's where I know I can execute. It's kind of like my peak ex execution at this point, 186. That's not a bad build drill time, but it's not an amazing build drill time either. I have friends that are that one 1 1.5 second time frame is just ridiculous. But uh, let's do that one more time. See if we can get three back-to-back -back clean runs. Stand by. That was a 216. Really took some time to overconfirm there, but that's three back-to-back -back build drills, all of them clean inside the A zone. Uh, 216 was that last run, not great, um, but it was clean, so we executed well on that. Let's go ahead and back this up and run a little bit of accelerator. This is one of my favorite drills because you're constantly working on target transitions, you're working on your throttle control um, because you have different distances of these targets. So we've got a target here at about seven yards, target about 16, 17 yards, and we got a target all the way back at like 27 yards. So I'm seven, 17, 27. Um, let's go ahead and run this, and we'll run close, medium, far first. Stand by.
All right, good hits there. I dropped a second shot just a little bit high on this first target. Let's go ahead and run that one more time, but we're gonna start back to front this time. Stand by. There we go. This is the beautiful thing about this gun. I came in, picked my spot, and as soon as I broke my shot, it was one, two, dead center of the A zone, no question about it. 308 for that six rounds. Um, and they believe they were all in. We got another six rounds. Now we're at 30 ish yards from the plate rack right now. Let's go ahead and run a 30 yard plate rack. Stand by. Just like that. That was just very satisfying. 441 for that plate rack. All right. Moving back over, let's do a little bit of a, a variation to the accelerator. I'm going to work middle, far, close. Stand by. Uh, Drop to Charlie. I overswung just a little bit there. We'll do middle, close, far. Stand by. All right. And that was a 312. Clean. Clean. I think I might have pulled a Charlie on the back one. And we'll do, um, actually, here's another quick drill for you guys. This is one of my, my drills that I like to do. Um, just a simple step over drill, but we'll make it four targets, okay? Four targets where we're gonna do a step in and we shoot middle, close, far, middle, or middle, far, close, far, something like that. You're always gonna change the order of targets you're shooting and um, the, dis the dif distance to the target. So we'll do this one, we'll do close, middle, far, middle. Okay, stand by. There we go. So that's the drill. Real simple, 447. It just adds in a little bit of uh, movement to that throttle control. And it's one of my favorite drills just to get things going. I like to use this one in class a lot. We can start on the right side too. So we'll do um, far, close, middle, far. Okay, stand by. All right, 509 on that one. I wanna run that one again, but we'll do middle, far, close, middle. Stand by. All right, I threw a delta on that last one. That was a 442, but I felt better with my transitions. Quite a bit better. Oh goodness, lost a round. Can't lose that round. We gotta keep count. We are almost to 500 rounds right now. All right, time to top off again. Ha <laughs> ha, mag flip. You guys have seen how awesome the EOS is, but it's so awesome that we're gonna split this video into two parts. When James told me that this thing was gonna be an hour long, I'm like, uh, let's maybe break this into two parts. So if you guys wanna see part two, we're gonna be releasing that in just a couple of days. Be sure to smash the subscribe button so that you can watch that along with us and see the rest of the thousand rounds of drills.